Okay, so it's happened. We got a new bike. Before we go further, let me just let y'all know what's going on. I know I look like a mess. Um, right now, COVID is running through my family. We're quarantined. Um, guess I got it from work. I don't know. Uh, my daughter, who's about to turn three, has it the worst right now. But luckily, she's very, very healthy. Um, the hospital has... Uh, released us to stay at home um unless things get worse uh but we should be nearing the end of uh, this process so i know i'm i look a little ragged please please excuse me my wife is taking a turn right now with her downstairs and i wanted to slip up and get this video done so as you know from uh my prior videos i've been looking at a touring type of bike um, to upgrade to and it's been a bit of a, a journey to find the right one um, just as a reminder I'm gonna show you the bikes that I was considering at the top of my list um, there's the Goldwing uh, Tourer model and then there was the Harley Davidson Ultra Limited as well um, both of these bikes were great. They had different things that were pros and cons. And I really felt the deciding factor was the brotherhood and the network that you have within the Harley community, um, to which I was pretty dialed in and really didn't want to leave that. Um, so I was leaning toward the Ultra Limited. But I didn't get that in the end. Um, I got something else. And no, I didn't get the Goldwing either. Or the BMW K1600. None of that. Um, before I tell you what the bike is, and I will get to that pretty quick here. Um, let me tell you the process that has been going on the last few days while we struggled with COVID. It is the very, very beginning of January of 2022 at this time. And a couple days ago, the actual colors were released for the 2022 models. And there's some I liked, some I didn't, but nothing that just grabbed me. There were two colors that I really liked within the 2021 model year of a particular bike so uh, i hopped on the phone and started to try to try to work a deal to see if i could grab um, a good deal on a 2021 um, if there were any left over in the col two colors that i liked well first place i tried was the dealership that i have bought my last three bikes from that's three harley davidson's within a year and the salesperson there, or there's actually two guys that I work with that are really awesome in the sales team. They they were great. And they had one of the colors, um, very hard to find color. And it was their last bike. And they really wanted to make a deal. Um, in the end, the management team was not able to put together the deal that I needed. Um, was not willing to give me the right numbers on my trade. Um, and hit me with some terms that I was not prepared for. So I decided to hold off on that and then found the other color that I like at another Harley dealership that I've had, um, a lot of relations with. I have some friends that work there. So I made a couple calls, um, Quickly, a deal came together 
they gave me what I wanted on my trade. Um, same bike, different color. Um, they called and talked to Harley Davidson and got the deal reworked to be more in my benefit. Um, financially, I came out way ahead and I ended up putting the uh, small deposit that I needed down and the uh, the bike was dropped off into my hands and it's sitting outside in the driveway right now. Um, this will be the second or third bike that I've been able to do from my home. So that is very convenient. But that being said, um, I now have a new bike and it's uh, not what I expected, but it made sense. A uh, light bulb just went off. Um, and uh, let me show you what I got and then we'll talk about the why afterwards. Here you go. Now, why I chose the Road King. First of all, before I go into that, let's just talk about the color. That Deadwood Green, I absolutely love it. Um, it just speaks to me. It's literally the same color that I have on my house. So you might have seen the house in the background a bit. Um, I have that sage-ish color green, the jade green on my house um, with dark brick. And it, I'm very passionate about it. It's just a gorgeous color scheme. And to be able to get it on the bike was amazing. Okay, um, Road King. I wanted a touring bike with all the things that came with it. I wanted a touring bike from Harley Davidson. But, as you know, I'm very into modifications. <coughs> Excuse me. And I plan to do a whole bunch. Getting the Road King without the big fairing from Harley-Davidson with the radios and the navigation screen, which is all really awesome. But when I thought about it, I wouldn't be using it. Um, and that took a lot of the customer customization capability of what I wanted to do with the bike. Um, so when I thought about it, I just decided to go with the Road King and get a special fairing that has a unique look, um, set up the touring storage compartments the way that I wanted, which will make sense as we go over the next videos and start um, going through the modifications putting the 131 engine in it, the custom exhaust that I have picked out. I mean, just everything with it. I had so much more room to play on the Road King rather than getting a vehicle that's pretty stock, factory, well-equipped. Um, when you got it, turnkey. Um, this I can put more of my stamp on. So that's why the Road King. Now, I am going to be going with a mini batwing fairing up front um, for wind blockage. Um, I'm going to do a chopped tour pack in the back. Um, just a whole bunch of stuff. And I want you along for the ride. We're going to be talking a lot about the benefits of the touring bike, the details, um, all the cool stuff that you can do, the engine modifications. I mean, like the bike is going to change dramatically. Um, it's going to have a two-tone color setup. Um, I am keeping the 
Deadwood Green. I love the Deadwood Green, but we're going to add a lot of other stuff that'll give it a almost balanced two-tone appearance. Um, it's going to be really fun. So I hope you stick in the journey with me. And sorry, I sound like a mess. Uh, this COVID thing will go by. We made it this far several years in before catching it. Um, luckily, we are all vaxxed except for my daughter. So it hasn't hit us as hard as it could be. I'm just very worried about my daughter. So um, thank you again for being here and listening to me ramble. I'm excited about the new bike and the things that we're going to be doing together on it. Um, we'll take it from there. I'll see you next time.